In today's video, we're going to show you three different ways or three different methods on how you can take a screenshot on your iPhone 16 or 16 Pro devices. But this will also work on any iPhone 15, iPhone 14, and older iPhone model. Just make sure that you watch this video until the end so you don't make any mistakes. The fastest and easiest method of taking a screenshot is by using a combination of two buttons. Those are the volume up button at the left side of your iPhone and the power or lock button at the right side of your device. You want to press those two buttons at the same time and the iPhone will now take a screenshot of whatever we have on our screen. But what if your buttons aren't working for some reason and you need another method? Don't worry, let's check out the second way on how we can take a screenshot without using any buttons. Let's open our iPhone settings and then hop over to our accessibility section. After this step, you want to find the touch option which should be under the physical and motor section. The next step is to find this back tap option at the very bottom of the page and we can now select between a double tap or a triple tap option. Essentially, when we select either of these options, we will double or triple tap the back of our iPhone and then the phone will take a screenshot for us and we don't have to use any buttons when using this method. I suggest you select the double tap because it's easier and faster this way. You're going to see a list of actions on this page which we can activate by using the double tap gesture, but let's select the screenshot option from this page. Now just double tap your iPhone just below the camera and you want to make sure that you double tap quickly and then the phone will take a screenshot. But if even this doesn't work for you as it should, then we're going to add the virtual home button which has a bunch of options, including the screenshot option. In order to add it, we want to go over to our settings one more time, then go back a couple of pages and make sure that you're in the accessibility section one more time. Open the touch option again and then find an option that's called assistive touch and this should be at the very top of your page. Turn this switch on or enable this feature and this will essentially add a little virtual home button over your iPhone screen and this button gives us a bunch of different controls which we can activate and this is especially useful if our iPhone's buttons aren't working, they're broken or similar. So let's take a screenshot on our iPhone by using this button. All we have to do is to tap on this button and it will open a little menu with more controls. Click on device, then tap on more. And here is the screenshot option, so let's click on it to take a screenshot. As you can see, the phone took a screenshot and I didn't have to use any buttons. Those are three different ways on how you can take a screenshot on iPhone 16 and 16 Pro, as well as other older iPhone models. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.